Today's topic is wine and beer fermentation. It is the third lecture on fermentation of food. So let's begin the topic with beer fermentation. So what is beer? Beer is the one of the oldest and most widely consumed alcoholic drinks in the world and the third most popular drink all over the world after water and tea. It is produced by the brewing and fermentation of the starches, mainly derived from cereal grains. It may be barley, wheat, maize, rice or oats. So during the brewing process, fermentation of the starch sugars in the wort produces ethanol and carbonation in the resulting beer. So, beer and ale production uses cereal grains such as barley, wheat and rice. The complex starches and proteins in the grains must be hydrolyzed to a more readily unstable mixture of simpler carbohydrate and amino acid. Next is about the, the brewing process. Beer is more than just water, hopes, melts and yeast. In the beer making processes, various ingredients are mixed, processed and sometimes the structure of the raw material is altered. The brewing process is made up to 10 production steps from the fresh barley to the finished beer. We would like to present the steps in more details in one by one. The first step is malting. Firstly, the fresh barley gets soaked in water and put in the so-called germinating box to germinate. In this phase, the enzyme amylase are produced which are needed for the starch separation. The germinating process is then interpreted with the optimal stages of the drying, that is kindling. The green malt is dried carefully at 80 degrees Celsius and tastes slightly sweet when dried. The malt sugar later serves to feed the yeast culture, which then form the alcohol. The second step is milling. The finished malt is milled similar to the making of flour so that it dissolves better in water. Malt mills produces various gates of crushed malt, husk, groats, meal, simulina and powder from the coarest of the finest. Next step is meshing. The milled malt is mixed with water in the mass tun, meshing in. The starch in the grease dissolves and sugar, protein and tannins are released. The so-called malt extract is produced by the meshing processes. Fourth step is lottering. The mesh is filtered in the lotter turn in the husk scene and oat is separated from the solid substances. The wort is then further used in the brewing processes whereas the span grains are generally used as cattle fodder. Fifth step is wort boiling. In the brewing pan or wort kettle, the wort is boiled and the hops are added. The taste of the beer depends on the type and amount of hops used. The more hops, the bitter the beer. As the water evaporates, the wort is concentrated to the original wort. The malt enzymes are deactivated and the tannin and protein elements are separated out to form the so-called trap. The next point is wort clarification. In this step, the wort is speed up into the whirlpool and starts to rotate. Hope particles that have not dissolved and protein the so-called trap form a cone in the middle of the container and the clear root can be trapped up at the side. Then the clear root is cooled to a temperature of between 10 to 20 degrees Celsius in the wort cooler. Next step is fermentation. This takes place in the fermentation tank where special brewing yeast is added. The yeast turns the malt sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. As soon as the malt sugar has fermented, the yeast sinks and is collected. Depending on the type of the yeast and the wort preparation, used a top or bottom fermented beer is produced. Next step is storage. Young beer is stored anything from 3 weeks to 3 months in the storage tank at between the temperature of 1 to 2 degrees centigrade. A secondary fermentation takes place. Remaining yeast particle and protein tannin sinks in the bottom. So the beer becomes clear and acquires its characteristic color. Next step is 
filtration at this stage any substance is still remaining after fermentation and secondary fermentation such as yeast particles hops resins and proteins which are extracted and the beer gets it final clear color step is filling or packaging here bottles or cans are filled from the filling station that is start ginger the beer is filled using counter pressure to prevent any carbon dioxide from escaping barrels are filled directly in our brewery so now beer is ready to serve most beers are fermented with bottom yeast related to saccharomyces species which settled at the bottom of the fermentation butt the beer flavor also is influenced by the production of small amount of glycerol and acetic acid bottom yeast requires 7 to 12 days of fermentation to produce beer with a ph of 4.1 to 4.2 With a top is such as Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the pH is lowered to 3.8 to produce ales, freshly fermented, that is green beer, are aged or lagers, and when they are boiled, carbon dioxide is usually added. Beer can be pasteurized at 140 degree Fahrenheit or higher or sterilized by passing through membrane filter. to minimize flavor changes so this is about the beer fermentation next is about wine fermentation or wine production wine has been produced for thousands of year the earliest evidence of wine is from ancient china georgia persia and italy nowadays it is spreaded all over the world wine is an alcoholic drink typically made from fermented grapes here yeast is mainly used yeast consume the sugar in the grapes and convert it to the ethanol carbon dioxide and heat different varieties of grapes and strains of yeast are major factor in different styles of wine so wine has long played an important role in religion red wine was associated with blood by the ancient egyptian and was used by the both greek cult of dinosaurs and the romans in the brekneas similarly the largest wine regions in italy spain and france have heritages in connection to wine likewise viticulture tradition in the southwestern united states started within new spain as catholic fairs and monks first produces wine in new mexico and california wine production or the focus of enology starts with the collection of grapes which continues with their crushing and the separation of the liquid called must before fermentation and concludes with the variety of storage and aging steps all steps we will discuss in one by one for wine production saccharomyces cerevisiae is mainly used wine making can be divided into two genera still wine production and sparkling wine production that is with carbonation or natural or injected next is about the steps of wine making process which begins with harvesting or picking after the harvest the grapes are taken into a winery and prepared for primary ferment at this stage red wine making diverges from white wine making Red wine is made from the must that is pulp of red or black grapes and fermentation occurs together with the grape skin which give the wine its color whereas white wine is made by fermenting juice which is made by pressing crushed grapes to extract a juice the skin are removed and play no more role occasionally white wine is made from red grapes This is done by extracting their juice with minimal contact with the grape skin. Rose wines are either made from the red grapes where the juice is allowed to stay in contact with the dark skins long enough to pick up a pinkish color by blending red wine with white wine. White and rose wine extract little to the tannins containing in the skin. To start primary fermentation, yeast may be added to the must for red wine or may occur naturally as ambient yeast on the grapes or in the air. Yeast may be added to the juice for white wine. 
During this fermentation, which often takes between 1 to 2 weeks, the yeast converts most of the sugars of the grape juice into ethanol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is lost to the atmosphere. After the primary fermentation of the red grapes, the free run wine is pumped up into the tanks and the skins are pressed to extract the remaining juice and wine. After that, the press wine is blended with the free run wine at the winemaker discretion. The wine is kept warm and the remaining sugar are converted into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The next process is the making of red wine is malolactic conversation. This is a bacterial process which converts Crips green apple malic acid to soft creamy lactic acid softening the taste of the wine. Red wine is sometimes transferred to oak burial to mature for a period of week or months. This practice imparts oak aromas and some tannin to the wine. After that, the wine must be settled or clarified and adjustment made prior to bottling. So, the time from harvest to drinking may vary from a month to years or it may be 20 years for good wine for a good structure with high quality of acid, tannin or sugar. However, only about 10% of all red wine and 5% of white wine will taste better after 5 years Then it will just after 1 year. Depending on the quality of the grape and the target wine style, some of the steps may be combined or omitted to achieve the particular goal of the winemaker. Many wines of comparably quality are produced using similar but distinctly different approaches to their production. Quality is directed by the attribution of the starting material and not necessarily the steps taken during beneficiation. So, a critical part of White wine involves the choice of whether to bury a dry or a sweeter wine. This can be controlled. How? By regulating the initial mass sugar concentration. With higher level of sugar, the alcohol will accumulate and inhibit the fermentation before the sugar can be completely used. For that reason, sweeter wine will produce. During final fermentation in the aging process, flavoring compound accumulate and influence the bonquet of the wine. So, in the microbial growth, during the fermentation process produces sediment which are removed during raking. Raking can be carried out at the time of the fermented wine which is transferred to bottle or caskets for aging or after the wine is placed in bottle. So, natural champagnes are produced when the fermentation is continued in bottle to produce a naturally sparking wine. Sediments then remain are collected in the necks of inverted champagne bottles after the bottle can be carefully turned. The necks of the bottle are then frozen and the cork remain to produce discharge to accumulate sediments. The bottles are refilled with the clear champagne from another dislocked bottle and the product is ready for final packaging and labeling. So this is about the wine production. This is all about today. Today I have discussed about beer production and wine production. For beer and wine production lactic acid bacteria plays a most important role. This is all about today. Thank you.